I've got another couple of great apps for you to check out. These are both AI powered apps. And the first one I want to talk about is Letterly. This is what I've been using on my mobile phone. The deal on AppSumo is one code for one device. So you can get a lot out of this with just one code and I'm just using it on my mobile phone. But you could decide, maybe you've got a work phone and a personal phone. If you want it on both, you're going to need two codes. Now, what it's doing at the moment is recording what I'm saying. And the whole point of Letterly is to very quickly and easily use AI to help you with your note taking. So you can record, I think it's about 15 minutes of audio, plenty of time to get down some thoughts. And then it will use AI to turn that recording into different bits and pieces. So let me give you a demonstration. I'm gonna stop the recording now. So the first thing it does is transcribe what it's just heard. So you get a full transcription. You could copy that, but then the power comes in using the rewrite function. Now it has a magic command, a magic function, which is where AI will choose what it believes to be the best option. You can clean up the text. You can make it significantly better. You can create a post, a thread, a LinkedIn post, a video script. You can do all sorts, journal entries. See, the list just goes on and on. For this one though, just let's see what happens when we say magic. So it now sends the text off and it's now restructured this as a post of uh, what we're doing here. Oh, it's just restructured, it's just rewritten it. But then we can rewrite it again. So now I might say, let's turn this into, let's have a little look. Let's say I want it as an X thread. So it's now gonna take the text and rewrite it and reformat it to be a thread for X. So we've got the different uh, tweets or X's, whatever they're called these days, and it's even included some hashtags. What's really interesting about this is you've also got the option to translate this. If we hit translate, you can pick whatever text you from the list and it will translate that over for you. So you've got a translation. You can also, you don't have to do the recording. If you um, simply hit the plus button, you can type in something. And this is where it becomes a little bit like interacting with chat GPT. I'm gonna choose video script. I'm deliberately choosing video script. And all I've given it is a bit of a prompt, a script about the benefits of note taking. Using that, it's now gonna send that off with, I guess it's got prompting behind it that goes with it. And we'll now see what happens. There we go. So we've now got a script that starts with a hook. It's got an intro, key points of introduction, really good stuff. Moving out of the note taking, you can see we've got all the notes that I've been using. And uh, here's my first test where I gave it just some simple bullet points about the onboarding process. And it turned it into a simple bullet point list. I can see this being super useful for coaches, consultants, anyone in business who needs to take some uh, quick minutes of, of meetings or follow up actions, things like that. I can see this being very useful. And this also has a web interface for managing your account and managing the devices. So for the next tool, we've got Pickaxe. This is a really cool little AI tool builder. And the idea being you build these tools so you can offer them out and uh, possibly put them on a website or offer them as a paid product yourself. When you create super easy to use interface, you can either manually create it by a form interaction. So you create a form, you ask for certain things from the user and you combine their input with your prompt and give them back the AI response. You can create a prompt powered bot or you can use the automated AI builder, which is brilliant because sometimes you've got an idea, but you're not quite sure what the prompt should be. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So when you use the AI to help you create a pickaxe, it will ask you a few different questions. It'll ask you, what is the tool about? What will people do with the tool? And what's the unique take on it? And I've answered all those. It only takes a couple of minutes. And the idea I've come up with is a tool to help change managers write emails about a change that they are implementing. And if we go down, it then creates the prompts for you. So it comes up with the persona, it comes up with the rules, it comes up to an approach to email writing. And at this point, I can say that's not right, or it is right, I'll say it's, it's fine, yes, go ahead. And that way you can give it some more feedback. It's very similar to working with something like ChatGPT where you are chatting away. And at this stage, it's actually building 
the pickaxe as they're called the, the tools are called pickaxes in a second what we will see is a little bot button pop up here we go and we'll go to the new pickaxe and so it's given it a title it's given it a description we've got the role here we've got the model that it uses and at the time of making this video 4.0 mini has only just been released very recently so this is bang up to date they implemented it very quickly so you've got your usual 4.0 uh, 4 turbo 4 3.5 and then you've got a few extras down here minstrel small minstrel large opus and sonnet so if i swap that to 4.0 for example you can also add your own files via this upload of a web page or files you can add an intro message and you've got extra information down here where you can add um, their own users can add their own documents you can have uh, web browsing image generation so that's all good now at this stage this hasn't been created yet so don't navigate away from this you can test this out here but i'm just going to say next you can then add a cover image we can choose a logo and we can have a placeholder text and at the moment it sits private and uh, turn that off because I don't want it to be cloned. So I did a pretty good job on that. Now let's say I wanted to share this out. Well, I can share it via a link or you can press deploy. You can either add it to Studio. So Studio can be a collection of tools or you can embed it. So we click embed. You've then got options around how it looks. So you've got the layout with its pop-up, which is quite, which is really cool. White label is included, which I think is great. And we simply copy the code, paste that on to a website or a platform, course platform, whatever you're going to use it. And you can embed it straight in adding extra value. The one major limitation I've found with Pickaxe is it's not really a complete lead magnet solution. It doesn't collect the person's email address or contact details. So you can paste it on your website and it looks great, gets embedded, but people could just use this and you would have no way of knowing who that was. So you're going to have to consider combining this with other tools in order to make this a lead magnet or offering it only to people who are spending money and therefore give you their details, payment details in order to access it. It's currently available on AppSumo and there's actually only two tiers available. The first tier is only $39. It's worth grabbing. You get 250 monthly credits, but really they want you to use your own OpenAI key. And for that, you can create three studios. But if you think you're going to be doing this a lot or maybe you're going to offer it to clients, you're going to want to go for tier two, which gives you the 50 studios. You do get a few more credits, but again, you're probably going to have to add your OpenAI key to get the unlimited usage. So if you want to learn more about any of the tools I featured today, go check out the link below. They're affiliate links, so it helps support me and the channel. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the tool in the comments.